بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو دا چینل مائی نیم از آسیم امجد اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وی سالو آ پرابلم ریلیٹڈ ٹو ان الاسٹک بیم بینڈنگ فار ان سمیٹریکل ڈرا سیکشن اینڈ ہیئرز آر سچویشن ہیئر وی ہیو اے ٹی بیم دیٹ از میڈ آف اسٹرکچرل اسٹیل ود اے ڈرا سیکشن ایز شون آن دا رائٹ ہینڈ سائڈ اینڈ اٹ مے بی ٹریٹیڈ as an elastoplastic material. You have to determine the maximum elastic movement that the beam can support and then you have to determine the maximum movement that the beam can support just before it reaches a fully plastic condition. Let's start with part A. Before finding the movement, you have to calculate the neutral axis and the area movement of inertia. For finding the neutral axis, we know from our previous video lecture y neutral axis is equal to summation of y i times a i divided by a total. For finding the a total, that is the area of the total cross section is 150 times 50 millimeter plus 50 times 150 millimeter would become 15,000 millimeter square. And for y and a is equal to is the distance that is y1 from the bottom of the cross section to the center of the cross section of part 1 and this is the part 2 of this cross section times the area that is 150 times 50 plus y2 that is 150 divided by 2 is the center of this cross section times the area then divided by the a total and the y and a is 125 millimeter that is the neutral axis of this unsymmetrical cross section t beam for finding the movement of inertia we know that i and a is equal to i for standard shear neutral axis plus a d square so the movement of inertia of this rectangle is 1 by 12 times 150 times 50 t power cube plus a d square a is the area of this section that is 150 times 50 times the distance from the neutral axis that is d1 so for finding the d1 we know that the total distance of this section is 150 plus 50 divided by 2 and then the value at this point at this point would be come from this equation then simply minus the neutral axis distance that is 125 and the answer would be the value of d1 and its square plus do the same thing for the other section that is 1 over 12 times 50 times 150 to part cube plus 50 times 150 the area of this cross section and then the distance of this cross section d2 is calculated from here and then the area movement of inertia is 53 125 triple zero millimeter t power four and for finding the moment for the fully elastic condition we know that the sigma max is equal to m c over i so finding the moment m max for elastic would become sigma max times i divided by c substituting these terms and the maximum moment for the elastic region is one lakh six thousand two hundred and fifty Newton meter. Okay, now let's move to part B. As the material is in fully plastic condition, so first find the forces at this point. At this point, we know that the value of the stress that is 250 meter pascal that is given in the problem. So the force would become stress times area, and these are the two forces that is acting out there. And then calculated the moment for fully plastic. We take in the anti-clockwise direction as positive so here is the force times the the distance is 50 divided by 2 this would be the distance from the neutral axis and for this force the distance would be 150 over 2 and this would be the distance from this point to this point and the movement for the plastic region is 1,87,500 Newton meter. Thank you.